It's a new season and we've already been offered a brand new job interview. This time by Napoli for the second time in two years. Their manager that they signed last season got sacked. I'm starting to think I should make a video about the first job interview just to see if I can get the offer. I am going to decline, of course. The main news is we are talking about the European competition ratings. We are still in 20th place despite our best attempts. We have nine places in the European club rankings. Italy and England were the top two. Italy were the best overall, which is saying a lot. And Hungary have gained a Champions League spot. Because we went up three positions to 15th, we've gained the additional Champions League spots. And I am delighted. It means that next season, in the 2030-31 season, there'll be two Hungarian teams in the Champions League for the very first time. It's just a shame that we're still going to be in the second qualifying round of the Champions path, but we can work on that. Also, one of the teams is going to be in the third qualifying round of the Europa League, which wasn't the case before. If we can get better and better, we might do well. We need just one more place to go to the playoff round of the Champions League to avoid going through two extra rounds, which for me would be perfect. But only one more position is needed. And in fact, we only need two more positions to get a team in the Europa League playoff and to have two teams in the Europa League. So that's already incentive enough as it is. Croatia is the target then. And we are only five points behind, but they're also losing a better year than us. So we could honestly be looking to challenge them this year. Serbia, I'm not looking at because they are losing a good year compared to us. In fact, the three nations behind us are losing really good years. Denmark are losing an outstanding year, so they should be no trouble unless they had that outstanding year again. And between ourselves and Fan Faros, we should have some good coefficient points again this year. Croatia got 12.8 points last year, so they could be a challenge to try and keep up with, but it could always be worse. I'm almost guaranteeing at least one further position gained this year because of Denmark's big year they're losing. Scotland could be a target, but if I say Scotland's a target, then surely Croatia's a target as well. Once we get past 12th place, Ukraine is so far away ahead of us. It's not even something we can realistically go for. But once they become a target, 9th place becomes a target as well. So we just need to start doing better and better. And once we do that, we'll be fine. In our season preview, we're easily the best team. We do have to worry about some players leaving us right now, so we'll go over this on the 1st of July later on. With Puskas Akademia and Kisvada both in Europe this year, we might be losing a few games which don't want to be losing. That being said, Kisvada's manager, Ivan Lovric, yes, that guy, our former player, who I love to talk about a lot, could be on his way to Fan Faros because he's a pound he wanted, so he might have had an interview offer from them. So that would be his biggest job today. And given he got sat by Puskas Academia, has got Kisvada in the uh, Prokofis League, and left NTK Budapest to go to Puskas Academia, this is a big move. And if he gets the Fan Faros job, then fair play to him. He's earned it. I just hope they don't sack him because they don't win the league. Because we're not going to give that up to him. Okay? I'm just going to set it here now. I mentioned last time out we'd sign John O'Shea. Here he is. He's actually quite good on the game. And... He's only been paid 2.1 grand a week, so that's not bad for our point of view. So as we go to the full player status, which I know some of you might never have seen this before, but as we go through this, you're going to notice a lot of my players are wanted in one way, shape, or form. Salazar, The Bug, Balanta, Bogner, Hambalik, Victor, Baldo, Savic, Robledo, Kusaba, Rogers, Salah, Baguda, Boxe, Tamas, Okay, okay, no, and Coxis as well as Barnell are all wanted. I'm ignoring the bottom two ones because I've already decided to let them go. It's the other ones that I'm not happy with that are wanted. Boxe actually wants to leave, and he didn't like the fact I turned down a move to a Sprom. I said no, and apparently didn't like it. Savage is still one to leave. He might be the one I sell for big money this summer. And I feel like I can justify it right now. I really can. So, Savage is probably the one we're going to sell. He's also wanted by 31 clubs. Now, going to be honest with you, I would need more than the £4.4 million we spent to get the guy in to consider selling him. I know it says £3.6 million, 
but we've got some extra clauses coming in that's going to make it 4.4 million pounds in the near future i will find that because it is here somewhere here we go so yes that's a thing also they make 30 percent on any profit that we make so we need to make more than the 4.4 million pounds so that's annoying that being said, we have rejected a lot of offers so far. Millspur only wanted to pay 2.1 million for Savage. Kusuas had offers for Batiste. Some have had to turn down a 1.1 million pound for from Cluj. West Brom didn't even want to pay that much money, actually. In fact, it was only 3.1 million pounds. Salazar had to turn down two offers. One from Wolves, one from Ajax for the same sort of fee. Borges, we had to turn down offers for 5.25 million pounds from Nice. The Bug, we've had offers of £2.9 million from West Ham. Hamblick, we've had offers of £3.8 million from Portsmouth all teams. Yes, this Portsmouth. They've had no Tycoon takeover. They had a failed one, but that's about it. Well, the Dragon hasn't come back yet, so we're not going to have to worry about that anytime soon. Also, I'm looking to sign Dane Murphy because of look how much knowledge he has. He might not be the best scout in the world in terms of his attributes, but his world knowledge is ridiculous, and I love that. So we're bringing him in. We also have 11.7 million pounds in the bank. So there's that. Also, we had three players in the top five signs of the season. So that tells you just how good our summer was in terms of transfers, I think. And Salah also broke the record for the highest average rating, which was set by Palaverse of all players. So box to box seems to be the very good role for that sort of thing, it feels like. Oh my God, we've been linked with PSG. Okay, we might be a good manager now in the eyes of a lot of people. That says it all. Great. Thanks. I didn't need this extra pressure. Did Pep leave? Pep left. Pep left for Arsenal. Well, okay. I am a little startled by the fact I've been linked. Where can I find this? If this wasn't a build a nation, I would absolutely look at it and say, maybe. But a lot of the jobs I've been linked to so far, but this is just one of those things I can't do. Also, Dane Murphy has signed for me, so. Hi. Welcome to the club. This is going to be a long summer, isn't it? With all these offers coming in. And we're not even in July yet. So the guy that left Vassas when they were top of the table and was taking him really, really far is now the fan fast manager. This guy might be the reason why we won the title last year because Vassas had a horrible run of form after he left. So there you go. So we got Rico. He's now studying his national A license, which is really promising when you realize just how good of a coach he is with a national B license. So he's going to be a future super coach, isn't he? Let's be honest. I'm excited. Also, for the press on beat, I'm delighted with the fact I've rejected the idea that I'm going to PSG because let's be honest, why would I leave? I'm an icon here now. I love this team and I want to take them to the Champions League one day. I also want to make sure that Hungary are one of the best nations in the world. I won't leave until I get that part done. So, there you go. Which could be never. The players are back, which is good. We still want to win the league. The Colo Colots here as well. Savage is now linked with a move to Millsburg. OKK is linked with NEC Nijmegen. Feyenoord want to get Vorges. That's bigger than last time. But I'm still going to say no. And I've just had a job offer interview from PSG because of course we do. I said I wasn't interested in the job. They've offered me a job interview anyway. So there you go. Anyway, let's turn this down for now and move on to big and better things, eh? Oh, and Soler might be looking to move anyway, so we might need to send him on. Carlos Soler is one of our 12 clubs right now, which could be an interesting situation. How much money do you think I can get for the guy? Apparently he's only worth between 1 million and 2 million pounds, which apparently is due to his age and reputation mostly his age i assume i like him a lot he's he was really good for us last year and i will miss him if he goes so yeah boxe is unhappy with the fact he's not able to go to west brom and he's got six supporters no okay gay balanta sinabuk soler and torijano so that's awkward so fun little story about bognir when we saw the next gen bin he was actually considered the Hungarian Mbappe. Not sure what that was meant to be about, but I decided to scout Mbappe and compare him. And, um, well, he's got a long way to go before he gets to that sort of level. But at least he can jump higher and his work rate is better. And his heading's better too. So he's got at least two things, three things, four things. Aggression's better too. 
So he's got something there. I very much clutch at straws here. I will be honest. I swear I keep on getting these articles saying, yeah, this player is wanted by a club. This player is wanted by a club. This now player. Now this player is wanted by a club. And then I got offers like this. And I think, what on earth are you doing? 34 clubs. Sorry. I've just noticed. What? I did not realize how popular he was getting. What on earth is this? I know I'm ready to sell him. But goodness me. Also, Bugs is not even interested in talking to West Ham. Where West Ham? They're the Premier League team. And they've got a new... Wow, that's a big stadium. The Trevor Brooking Arena. 84,000 seats. It was just built this year. Who funded this? Do they have a tycoon? Oh my God, they got a tycoon owner. And they've literally moved to a new stadium. And he's not interested. That's a lot of money. They've also got a transfer budget of 129 million. I'm going to say this here now. West Ham could be a fascinating save in this universe. Just because of what they have. Their Chinese tycoon owners are very interesting to me right now. Nice. Oh, actually pushing the... How much can I get for Borges? That's seven and a half million at least. I, I can get more than that, right? That's six million up front. That's six million for uh, money overall. But an extra money. I could get a lot of money for Borges, I'm realising now. And he was just loitering in the... I, I actually missed a quote with this one. If I can get 14 to 15 million for Borges, I think I'm happy with that. And that sounds weird to say that, because he's really good this year. But I can easily replace him, I think. Salazar also wanted... Um, no. But yeah, Borges I can replace. Most because he's not a homegrown player. And because of that, I can just replace a lot of players right now. I really could. I can sell some of these players and make good money, I'm realising here. So, I'm sitting on a lot of gold that other clubs seem to want. And I can just replace them with ease. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know what's happened here, but it seems like Dino Zagreb made a loan offer. Realised it was never going to be accepted. Decided, you know what? We're going to actually make an actual transfer bid. And Bugler apparently might want to talk to them. It's not a very good bid. I'm going to set it here now. So I'm going to reject both anyway. And just see what happens from here. He's going to kick up a stink, isn't he? Also, Dennis Appiah is wanted. I'm going to try and offer him a new contract. Again, more bids to turn down. Lovely stuff. Oh, that's not ideal. This is a guy I want to get. And he's just scratched his lower leg. I'm not guessing him because he's any good. Right now, he's actually considered a decent player for the division. But... He's cheap. He's only £12,000 worth at all. And that's because of his release clause. That's the only reason I'm going to look at to get him. RB Leipzig had the same idea, it seems like. But who knows what might happen when he comes back from his fractured lower leg. He doesn't want to talk to me right now, but that might change. Okay. They're actually making a bid for Noel. That's interesting. I've now been linked with Bayern Munich. I don't even know what the hell's going on anymore. Where did they manage? Mikar Tetsu's gone to PSG. Okay. That's interesting. I'm just going to say here and now, not interested in the role. Thank you. Okay, that's a thing. We're now literally being told, yeah, they're still considering me for the role, despite the fact I've not had any interest. What on earth is happening here? Seriously, what on earth is happening here? I didn't think I'd be literally linked so heavily with the role. Okay, Borges is now going up in value, which is interesting. But this value is not good enough anyway, so we're going to turn this down once more. Hambalek also having an offer. He doesn't want to go, so it's no real reason to accept this. Salazar also isn't interested, so we're once again going to turn this down. So trans transfers have been done. Zignet has left us. I also just realised, of all players to be going there, I didn't think this guy would be one of them, but don't grab so apparently got a decent team now, so fair enough. We've also got a lot of teams wanting our players, and now Hanover come in. Hanover. A second tier side in Germany have managed to unsettle my left back that I plan on making my first choice player. What a load of annoyance this is. Same with this deal. We are getting terrible offers, aren't we? So looking at the homegrown status, we've got about seven players, eight players that could literally fill up the homegrown thing and we'd be fine. So as long as we don't lose most of those players. Actually, that's a, that's a lie. Corksis is one of those players that I'm literally going to let go on a free. So, 
Why have I still got him around? I never released him effectively, but he's still here. It'll be an interesting time to see how long it takes before he realizes he can just leave whenever he wants. I think fast says are gonna do that, aren't they? To be fair, Bagador's about to get the homegrown thing in Nation in the next six days. So we don't need to worry about that. So homegrown thing, we are fine this year. My backup goalkeeper who I literally gave a new contract to because homegrown stuff, because why not, is here. He's also good enough to play in our division, which I'm not sure if that says a little more about us or more about the division that this guy's good enough. He also got a cat for Hungary while out on loan last year. I question my I question the ability of the national team. I really do sometimes. When are you going to become available, I wonder? Also, I should mention this. Fan Faust are no longer a three and a half star team. They're now a three star team. So does that make our nation worse? It might make our league worse overall long term. But we've got five places in Europe. So that's fine. We're still 20th place in the competition reputation for now. But I think one player that I can literally say I'm interested in is Angel Ganev. And he would definitely fit. A lot of criteria. He's unhappy with the fact that they've extended his contract when he's concerned about the quality of the squad. And I think this guy fits what I want. 18 years of age, turns 19 in the 4th of December, and he's a resolute personality. I just gotta make sure we can get the guy. But also, he can play as a right winger, he can play as a left winger, and he could also play up front. So if we decide to sell the dragon, this guy's our ticket, isn't he? We're going to scan him again because the dragon is now back. And actually, let's compare him to the dragon because I think this guy is better than the dragon. And I'm starting to think, yes, he would be better than the dragon. Yes, the dragon's got more aerial ability, is better defensively. But he's not as quick, hasn't got as much vision. Attacking-wise, he's better as well. But I like the dragon. But this dragon doesn't look as good as this guy. And the dragon is not homegrown, so Angel Ganev might be the option we go for here. Let's ask the agent. We'd be interested, we're keen. How much would he want? I'll do that. Yeah, I'll do that for you. Hang on, let's do this. So let's make an offer for this guy and just go 2.7 million up front. They were set to this straight away. Okay, that's easy enough. I could have negotiated that harder, but I'm willing to do this right now. And the agent said about it. Okay, and Victor wants to leave. I'm just going to tell him the truth. Look, we've got a terrific atmosphere. Thank you very much. That works every time. And now Ganev is going to be here. He wants to start majority of matches. I think he's worth the money, personally. What role do you want to play? Can I get rid of this? Yes. Okay. You know what? That's really reasonable. Let's do that. Let's add this in. And I'm willing to pay the agent a bit more money so we can get this in. Is that reasonable to you? Almost. Let's do this now and go for that. There. There we go. Easy enough. Super, super nice contract. And I can sell the dragon now. Konya is definitely a player that we could just throw in the first thing this year and it'll work. He is a decent player for the division now. And he's got potential. So I might just get into first team football. But I might need to give him another loan spell to get him the development he needs to help his game. The fact he played for a side last year and got a decent rating to say the least. Is very good. I need to get into the first team of a top tier side this year because I think he'll fit very nicely indeed. What do I do with the dragon? Do I send him out on loan? I don't think I want to. I don't think I want to loan him. I decided. So the dragon is not going to go out on loan. The dragon is going to be sold. I think. I think I'll wait until Garnev comes in before getting rid of the dragon in case Garnev gets poked by another team. But I don't think the dragon has a future with me anymore. And that's a sad thing to say. Oh, he wants to go to Villa apparently. But I'm going to reject these offers anyway. They're not good enough. No one's had offers now. Again, they're not good enough. Bugler, 6.25 million pounds. That's the biggest we've had so far for him. But I'm still going to say no. Oh, hello, Solar. This is the first time we've had an offer for Solar. And I'm open to selling him. Mostly because I think I can get at least two million pounds for him. I'm going to say no for now, but I want to get at least over two mil. Savage, he wants to go to Empoli. Empoli of all teams. What is up with Empoli? Have they got a tycoon owner or something? No. They're a Serie R team. Did they get promoted? They must have been promoted last year. 
Uh, they bottom half of the table side. I'm going to say no to both these offers because I want to see the money that he's willing to think he's worth personally. Oh, also, Konya, a loan offer for him. Why? Borges, that's not good enough. I need more than that. Thank you. Get the closest release clause and I'll be more interested personally. Actually, do I even bother? You know what? No, I didn't think so. But Konya, I need more than that. But I'm going to leave it for now. Kids, father's lost their manager, Ivan Lovric. Where's he gone? Okay, fair enough. He's gone home. Fair play to him. I hope he thrives. I really do. That's a great job for him, isn't it? What an opportunity for him. I hope he does well at his new club because that is outstanding opportunity for him. They want me to let Boxe leave. Um, This is a problem. I'm about to lose a lot of players' respect here for this because I think this is a problem. I didn't think I need to worry about. He's my captain. Oh, captain, oh, captain, you are my captain. Playing both DM on the support and defend. And he could play the Mazala. And he could be a box to box. He's kind of the perfect midfielder we have right now. And he's a star player for me. But I kind of want him to stay. But he's also got two years left in his contract. I could extend it. But I also know if I do that, it goes to the point of no return. Let's do this. Um, I want to do what about the team and the club. That's the case here. This isn't going to be a good thing, is it? Uh, I'm not going to win you over, but okay. That's gone badly. Salazar. Oh my god, Tottenham and now won him. Oh god, this is a problem. I was hoping it would never come up. But it's happened. Uh, Boxe. You need... You, they need to give me a lot of money for you. I'm going to reject the office of Salazar. This is going to come back to bite me, isn't it? Hambalik have an offer for Mets. No... So there, I need more money for you. I'm sorry. I need more money for you. But Garnev is going to sign for us. So this could be good. I'm excited for this. I really am. But I need big money for box. I'm going to say no for now. And I'm going to see what happens next. Squad player, but could be very, very good. Oh, this is fun. This is fun. Kusua is going to ex welcome in. I am very, very excited by Konev. He's the kind of player that I think we needed to get if we're going to improve. With three different positions he can play, all of them as a winger, he can play on the left side as inverted winger, left side and right side inverted winger, sorry. And he could also be up front. This guy is perfect, I think, for what we want. And he's only 18, so he'll get home going to say in three years' time. For £2.7 million, pounds, this feels like a bargain to me. And yeah, there we go. In three years' time, Ganev will get the homegrown status for us, and that's good. I also should just include all of that. If I include all this, then you're going to see a lot of players that are homegrown at both club and nation. But I'm going to get rid of the players that aren't good enough in the future. But, but we've got options either way, and that's good for me, as far as I'm concerned. We've got plenty and plenty of options. If we look at the future, Bagadar is going to be homegrown in two days' time at nation because of his loan spell two years ago at Puskas Academia. He is wanted by Watford, Mets, and Suso, so that could be fun, I suppose, to fend them off, even though he's not my first choice right back anymore. He's still good to have around. Oh, they are the bits again, better and better now. And that's a big offer for Borges, and I'm going to reject them. He's going to be upset, but I'm going to reject them. But these are interesting offers, though, because now the Dragon's getting offers. Do I need the Dragon? That's a fascinating situation for find myself in, isn't it? If I can get 5 million for him, I think, or 6.5 million, then we've done well here. He's happy to stay either way, though. We do need more money than this, though. I'm sorry. I need more. I would like about 5 million pounds. In fact, let's go down to 2.5, 2.5, then up these to the money I want. So. 3.5, 3.5 plus that. Well, if you're not going to offer me that, then there's no point of going to Tenerife, then is there? This is one of those summers where we're going to have to do a lot of things financially, and Solar's value is going down. Okay. That's a problem. Salazar now getting offers of £6.5 million. 
Our finances are getting bigger and bigger, aren't they? So there's that. Okay, more offers. Red Bull Salzburg are coming for Bugler. We're going to reject it again. Southampton want Borges, but he's not interested in talking to them. Strasbourg wants to talk about Savage. I need more money than that. Okay, Case had an offer from Dresden. So it feels like every one of our players is getting offers right now, and that says a lot. And now we're getting offers for... Okay, we're starting to get really good offers now, I think. And that says a lot. But... We are going to reject all these offers because I'm not interested right now. Kuzwa is a definite no-no and he wants to go. Hoffenheim's the one he wants. I need more money than that. And he knows it too. Well, Salazar's not going to keep up fast about this one. Fair enough. Konya signed a new deal for us as well. And some of the players, people that we forgot to renew contracts for have had their contracts renewed. Yep, the Dragon's unhappy. Well, okay, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be cheeky here because I can let him go and it won't be a problem for me. I'm gonna say, look, I need more money for your approach. So, I will say this here now. They weren't offering enough money for you. I'm willing to think again if someone comes in with an appropriate bid. How much does he want though? Perfect. I want seven mil. Yep, seven mil. Give me seven mil and you're gone. If we can get seven million for the dragon. Oh, we are happy. We are laughing our way to the bank. We just signed his replacement effective for 2.7 million. And he's much better than he is. Also, I love the fact that some people teams are saying, we're reluctant to make an offer while the asking price is so high. Well, that's your own fault for not having the funds. I've got the power to keep him here. And you need to pay up or else. Okay, we've got a homegrown boy in Baguda and I'm happy he's here. And that should be where I end it, surely, right? I've got no reason to continue on for the day. We found an offer for Salazar. I'm going to reject this. Bagadot's just become homegrown, so we're not going to sell him. And Barda, we're not going to sell either. Despite the fact we've had offers from Ajax and Fiorentina. Kusura is also getting offers from a Saudi team. And I don't want to sell him. As the Dragon needs 7 million, not that 3.9 million pounds. But we're going to end things on this because why on earth would I not end things on the bombshell that I've just been given a job interview by Bayern Munich? Because apparently we're really good reputation wise now. I hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves. I hope you guys will like and share this video and that you subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out a lot. Anyway, until next time, goodbye and well, good night. Seriously, why is it this season I'm guessing all these offers?